The Glunovo i3 system is a great tool to manage your diabetes and it is so simple to use. By using the Glunovo i3 CGM, I have learned so much about my diabetes. I now comprehend how food and exercise affect my glucose levels and what food I should avoid as certain foods affect my BG levels and keep my blood sugar higher for longer. And with my deepest regret, I have to stay away from pizza and chocolate. The Glunovo app is a pivotal part of my life now. I call it my diabetes companion. I rely on the app to notify me when my blood sugar levels are going high or low. I monitor my trends where I can analyse my glucose levels and adjust my habits where needed. For example, last week I was going to the gym and exercising for an hour when my glucose levels were dropping rapidly because I changed my routine to a heavier cardio workout. I found the problem due to the trends in the Glunovo app. Now before I go to the gym, I check my BG levels and have some extra carbs to counteract the exercise. The Glunovo app has become my diabetes companion. It gives me peace of mind at night when I sleep, knowing that if my BG levels drop into the urgent low range, I'll be woken by an alarm. The alarm safety mechanism in the app makes sure I'm awake and it requires me to confirm that I'm aware I'm in urgent low and need to take action. This is a Glunovo i3 applicator, which has a sensor attached to the base. At the top of the applicator, there is a button which applies the sensor to your body, but don't press this yet. The orange button should be in the locked position. When you're ready to apply the sensor, you'll need to push the orange button to the unlock position, but don't do this yet, we'll do this later. The Glunovo i3 sensor lasts 14 days and gives you real-time readings every three minutes. This is the Glunovo i3 transmitter. This lasts three years. The transmitter sends your glucose readings via Bluetooth to your mobile device. Please note there is a transmitter ID and security pin at the back of this transmitter. This ID is also printed on the back of the box the transmitter came in. I would advise you to make a note of this as you'll need it later when setting up the CGM system. I will now show you how simple the Glunovo app is to use and how to apply the i3 sensor. I will get you started using the Glunovo i3 CGM system in no time. Download the Glunovo app from the App Store or the Google Play Store. Once downloaded and installed, launch the Glunovo app. On the first launch of the app, you'll need to read the terms and conditions and tick the box to approve them. First of all, you'll need to enter your details. This is used by the app's export your data function. Once you have entered your details, the app will take you to the setup screen. Here you will set up your units of measure, hyper and hypo ranges and alarm settings. As a safety feature, urgent low alarms cannot be muted. Then you will be requested to apply the sensor to your preferred location. I put mine on my abdomen. Open the sensor packaging. The sensor is attached to the lower base of the applicator. Wash your hands and use an alcohol wipe on the transmitter and your preferred location. Wait a few seconds. Step one, remove the adhesive tape from sensor. Apply sensor to your preferred location, avoiding the following areas, 
ribs, hips, scarring, tattoos, irritation and any areas with hair. Once you're ready to apply the sensor, move the orange slider button from the lock position to the unlock position. Click the applicator button at the top. Hold the applicator in position for five seconds, which sticks the sensor to your skin. And hey presto, the sensor has been applied. Wasn't that easy? Now apply the transmitter to the sensor bed. Listen for the clicks. The clicks indicate that the transmitter has been fitted correctly. In the transmitter ID section, enter the transmitter code, which is printed on the back of the transmitter. The code is also printed on the back of the transmitter packaging. Also enter the pin number, which is printed on the transmitter. Next, you'll need to add the sensor ID. The final step is to start the transmitter and let the CGM warm up. This will take three hours. Once warmed up, you'll need to add a calibration. You'll be notified when it's time to add a calibration and the calibration screen will pop up. Congratulations, you're now fully set up to start receiving your glucose readings. The Glunovo app will receive a reading every three minutes. The home screen of the app shows your last BG readings at the top of the screen. This indicates how your current BG is compared to the last hour of readings. The chart shows you the last three hours of readings. You can scroll back past the last seven days of readings. By pressing the add note button, you can add your insulin amount, carbohydrate intake, any exercise and any medication you have taken. All this information is stored in the logbook of the app. By pressing the CGM button, it will give you the status of the CGM, such as when you've last calibrated and when the sensor needs replacing. The event log screen records all your Glunovo app activity. This includes all your BG readings, alarms, carbs, insulin, medication and exercise activity. The smart alarm feature allows the user to snooze the alarm in 10, 20 and 30 minute intervals. For highs and lows, you can set the Glunovo app to vibrate so it's discreet. But for urgent low, the Glunovo app will always alarm. This is to wake you up when you're sleeping.